Okay, y'all, I am back. I'm in a second um, model home that's um, out here. So let's go in here and see what we have. This is the one I couldn't get in, so one of the um, builders let me in. So let's see, y'all. Oh, this is nice, too. I'm going to turn the camera around so you guys can see. Okay, as you come in, you have a formal dining room area here. Again, you have the um, fireplace with the tile that go all the way up. I like that. I really like that feature. Built-in bookcase like the other one. Now this one, the kitchen is kind of separated, but it also has the double oven. It's similar to the one we looked at with the covered porch. The lot in the back, if you're not a fan of cutting yard and you just want just a little bit of grass, this would be a great lot. I do like that the um, it's a covered patio, so you can do a lot with the space outside as well. So I love the light fixtures in the kitchen. I love these, these are really nice. Now with this one, it has two sinks instead of the huge sink at the bottom. So um, again, you have the uh, microwave here at the bottom um, the, um, by the island. Um, gas stoves, again, the custom knobs. Plenty of cabinet space in the kitchen. I was trying to see if this one had a pantry. Um, I don't think it does, which is probably why they give you so much cabinet space in the kitchen. She can, let's see, so you guys can see it. All right, that's better. I needed to turn lights on in here. It's about to rain, so it's a little dark in here. But yes, this is the kitchen lit up. Again, um, it's such an open and wide floor plan. You do have the catwalk again, like in the other home we just looked at. Very open concept. Um, let's see what's behind this door. Okay, it's a nice um, walk-in closet. Um, what is in here? Another walk-in closet. Quite sure this is the garage. Yes, the garage is here. Already have garage openers um, there. This one also has the bedroom and a bathroom on the main level for guests. I like the wet area. So if you have your coach, your book set, so whatever, as you come into the garage, you have this um, area considered like maybe a mud room. Depends on where you are, what area you are in the country as to what you would call that space. So let's go upstairs and see what we have. I love the light fixtures. The light fixtures are really nice. So again, um, the majority of the property, um, the community from what the agent told me, they are five bedroom, four bath. They do have basement lots available. The price point, um, the homes here start off at about seven and go up. So this is a look from the catwalk. And you have the laundry room up. Nice size laundry room with a sink. This is the master bedroom. Nice size master bedroom. I, this tub, y'all, I love this tub. I love how it sits outside. That's really neat. Nice long um, cabinet. I mean, countertop. Yeah. Okay, this is the walk-in. Um, closet for the master. You have a linen closet here. I love the fixtures um, in the bathroom as well. This is really nice. So over here, you have one, two, three additional bedrooms. So this is five bedrooms, similar to another floor plan, five bedrooms, four baths. Let's see. Yes, this one has its own bathroom nice size bedroom Let's look at the closet another bedroom here with its own bathroom and this is a look from the master i love the um stair rail 
how they did that. And like I said, I pay a lot attention to detail. I'm into the details of a home. And then I just caught my eye um, with the stair rail. That's pretty neat. Again, another, um, I would consider this a linen closet. And here's the last bedroom with its bath. And this closet is a little bit bigger than the other bedroom we looked at. So guys, that is the end of this tour. I'm out in Potter Springs. Again, uh, if you have any questions or you're in the market for new home construction, new home communities, um, quite a few of the builders I mentioned today, they are offering great incentives. Um, so give me a call or send me a DM. Talk to you guys later. Bye for now.